Kate, how's it going? Yeah. It's good. How are you? <laughs> you know, honestly, it's only been like four weeks, but I feel like I really got to know you and, and your work and uh, all about yourself. So it's kind of crazy how quickly, like, or how close, like, you know, everyone is in the community, like, becoming so far. Definitely. I think that's um, because you guys limited it. Limited it. it. um you know wasn't a huge cohort of people doing it all at one time so you really got to have a sense of who who everybody was yep um well awesome thanks for coming on and sharing your story i want to ask you a couple quick questions about the course and your experience so just in general um why okay first why did you want to join the course and did it meet your expectations after going through it? Or we're not, we're not totally finished yet, but so far, right. like, did it meet your expectations? And like, oh, now I understand, like, I made the right choice. Yeah. So I wanted to do it because I just see the potential of connecting. I'm a musician and connecting with my fans, like, in a quicker, more immediate way. Um, sharing songs, sharing, you know, aspects of my life as a musician that, that, uh, I think people want to know about. Um, So that's why I wanted to take it, Um, take the course. And then uh, what did I get out of it? Is that, was that your second question? (laughs) So you came in with that, with that intention. Mm -hmm. And after going through most of the course now, was that intention met? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Like after the four weeks, they're intense. Um, You guys, you know, there's a lot of work to be done, especially if I'm not, I'm not the least techie person, but I'm not the most techie person, but I was fine. Um, Totally fine. But it is, I like that there's a limited, I love that there was a limited amount of time. It wasn't a course that stretched over months of time and that you, that you guys wanted to see the homework um, Mm. regularly. Got it. So you, so that's really helpful. You liked it that it was like structured in that way. Not totally. You you prefer that over like a self-paced course. Big time. Because self-paced courses, you end up flaming out and never doing them. <laughs> Basically, that's the truth. Like, let's just be real. Yeah. Like, you start strong, but then life happens and you just flame out. Yeah, definitely. Um, How- and so I love the fact that this is short, sweet. You know, you press us to get the homework done. We, we submit it. And then it's you know, I knew in a month. For me, it worked perfectly. I knew in a month it was over. And then I'm going on tour and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so, definitely. Um, cool. That's awesome. How, how has the community been, uh, been affecting, you know, your work as a student and, you know, your learning in general? Super amazing. Again, I think this is the genius is that you kept it small and everybody, since it's a new kind of a new frontier, everybody's like game to try things and help each other out. And no one's, and I got, I got no sense of, shade from anybody (laughs) no one threw any shade yeah Um, no everybody's just really game i mean even just technical stuff like i was having a real problem a couple days ago just just getting my iphone to show up on my screen and like five people volunteered to just help me walk me through it and i got online with a couple people and we troubleshooted it and yeah you know that's just a random like oh my gosh i'm having a problem is anybody out there online right now and like three people raise their hand right away and then later a couple people raise their hand and so that's the kind of thing is that we're all willing to just jump in and do it together that's awesome good good tribe going for you definitely what did you think about um andrew as an instructor um do you think that we we uh hit the modules like do you think we provided enough content for the modules to be super valuable do you feel like oh. you're missing some stuff that you would think uh, Andrew could have improved on? Do you think Andrew could have, um, like, like expanded on some parts more or, be, or like, um, be more focused or some way? Or just in general, yeah. what do you think about Andrew and his teaching style? Yeah, I think Andrew's a good teacher. He's very matter-of-fact and, like, um, you know, this is what you want to know. I think keeping the modules to an hour long, basically, roughly, is really good because, actually, when you're going through it, I mean, sometimes I had to go through a couple of times or slow it down or stop and take notes or stop and do something um, any longer. And it would just be impossible, I think, unless you didn't have anything else to do. So I think his style is really great and very direct and keeps you moving along. Um, The only thing I would say is like, I think he needs one of those things on his um, cursor that like highlights it when you move it. 
I don't know if you've ever seen oh, those. Oh, I see, yeah. Because when you're watching the video, like he's, especially in the second module, when there's, when you're doing like a he the heavy lifting of building the bot. Yeah. He's moving so fast, his little cursor on the screen that you're like, wait a second, he just did 10 moves. And I, I would have to like rewind it and like follow his tiny cursor on the, my tiny <laughs> screen. So like if he had a, I think they call him, they call him a bullseye. I don't know. I've used him in the studio before. Yeah. Um, like when I'm sitting behind my engineer and so that I can see what he's clicking on, like from far away. Definitely. So that would be super helpful just cause it would make, it would just make seeing what he's doing. Cause he knows like many chat really well. So he's, but we're just brand new to it. Of course. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's very, it's information. Like we got to get the information. So yeah. I have no problems with how it was done. It was, it was great. Awesome. I guess a like, last question to wrap things up is if someone's listening to this or watching this and they're kind of on the fence, like, oh, I think I should, I want to do this because it seems like it's cool and popular and a good course, but mm -hmm. I think I can do it on my own or I think I can like uh, find my own people. What do, you, mm -hmm. what do you, do you have anything to say to that person who's like on the fence? Well, I think you have to decide first and foremost, how are you going to, are you going to use this? Are you going to, are you going to use a chat bot like for yourself? Or are you going to build them for other people? In my case, I'm I'm using it for myself big time. That's why I wanted to do it. I'm I'm secondarily going to go build them for other people. But so decide that. Are you really going to use it, or do you really want to do it? Secondly, um, you know, it, the the thing about this course is it's short and sweet. So it's 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 going to force you to do the work to get up to speed. And that I think is pretty invaluable because if you're just doing it on your own, I mean, how disciplined is, is the average person? Definitely. You know, so the, all the pluses for me of this course was that it's short, sweet, packed into a certain period of time. And if you can just say, okay, I got this month to do this, you're going to be in a totally different place at the other end of it. Got it. Well, awesome. Kate, thank you so much for sharing. No problem, Tam. Thanks so much. You, you did a great job. Thanks. <laughs>